What's up, everybody? Big Herc916. Want to say thank you for subscribing to the channel. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you hit that button. You don't want to miss out on any of these videos. Also, subscribe to my Instagram and my Twitter, which is BigHerc916. You know, I'm all about the positivity and the motivation. And I just want to say that sometimes we all get frustrated. You know, we get frustrated with a lot of different things. And it's natural, man. You know, you want things to move at a certain pace. Or you expect things to go a certain way. And they don't always go that way. Or they take longer than expected. <clears throat> um, whether it's trying to reach certain financial goals. Certain relationship goals. Um, certain physical goals. You know, we all have these challenges. You know, we look at ourselves in the mirror and we think, man, I just ate that pizza last night and I was doing so good on my keto diet and now I got to start all over again and oh my God, I can pinch an inch here, I can pinch a, a, a inch there and you know, you think that all is lost, but you know, it's all right to have a slice of pizza every now and then, you know? and indulge yourself but it's not the end of the world and even though you haven't met your goal to lose that 20 pounds that 30 pounds or that five pounds you know it's all right it's not gonna put you in the dirt it's not gonna end your life you know if anything it'll make you work a little bit harder Rethink some of your eating habits, but it's not that bad, man. And, uh, you know, the spin classes might not be shedding the weight as fast as you would like it to, but you're disciplining yourself and you're still working your body out. So it's, it's, a, it's a good thing. So don't be frustrated that the weight necessarily hasn't came off. You know, love yourself. Believe in yourself. And, uh, you know, just work through it. I know for me, I get frustrated sometimes because I feel like I'm not doing enough. You know, you, you ever, you ever feel like you don't have enough time in a day or, it, you know, what's going to happen if the, the world ends tomorrow? You know, I, I have that feeling sometimes. And uh, I don't know if it's from having been locked down and missing out on life to a point where I feel like, you know, um, I got to catch up. I got to make things happen faster than normal because that's what it feels like sometimes that, you know, I have that gap where I didn't have any kids. Um, I didn't I didn't buy a house like a lot of people because I was locked up and I didn't build this um, you, know, you know this this family unit you know I kind of went away in my early 20s and came out in my early 30s so I uh, I kind of I kind of was on the late freight and you know when I when I see a lot of the people around me, um, it's not really frustrating looking at them because I feel I'm doing better than most of the people that's been out here for the last 10 years that have been, you know, you know, doing really nothing, um, just surviving, living. But uh, I have such high standards for myself that I beat myself up a lot, you know. I beat myself up about working out. If I had a, 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 a crappy workout, if I if I didn't eat enough carbs for the day and I didn't get a good pump, you know, I beat myself up if I didn't, you know, make a certain amount of money, uh, you know, a particular week, you know, um, I just have very high standards for myself. You know, if I didn't bust cheeks enough for the week, you know, I feel that I'm slacking. 
But uh, I gotta, I guess, sometimes take a step back and appreciate what I am doing and uh, where I came from, you know. 10 years ago, I had nothing. And today I have multiple businesses. I have a, a, a beautiful house, you know, a beautiful wife, um, different cars I can drive different days of the week. Um, I'm not homeless, I'm, I'm healthy. I got medical insurance. Um, I can eat Ruth Chris when I want to. So life is not that bad. I drive by and see people living on the street. I mean, there's a street I drive by in, in uh, South Central off of Western. And uh, there's a guy, I've seen him over the last probably seven, seven, eight years just living on the street, you know, in a, in a pile of trash. Same guy, pretty much same clothes. And uh, I just thank God that I have what I have and that I'm able to continue with the drive, ambition, and the goals I have and, and the dreams I've, I've, you know, put in my mind. But, um, yeah, I, I do get frustrated. So, you know, life is full of challenges. It's to be expected. You know, as long as you put things out into the universe, they'll come back to you tenfold. But don't think that your efforts are, you know, going on without any... Um, accomplishment because even though you might not see it on the surface those seeds have been planted it's like um, the coconut tree or the pineapple tree that's you know six feet seven feet eight feet underground with roots that are firmly planted and it's just barely popping through the soil that tree has been growing for for years but you just haven't seen it just like your ideas you've been putting them out there and they're growing and when it blows it's gonna blow you're gonna you're gonna see that success so you just got to know that that in your heart of hearts that it's it's not a uh, fruitless your efforts and, uh, you know, relationships, you know, you, you got to communicate. You got to create an understanding. You know, sometimes things can seem boring or redundant or just um, old. And when it gets to that point, you got to figure out how you can spice it up again, how you can create more dialogue, how you can make it more exciting how you can make busting the cheeks a little more enticing. And um, that's just part of being in a relationship. You know, if you have good communication, then you guys can enjoy all the things you want to enjoy together. And it, at that point, if you can't work through that and the communication, you know, seems to be not going anywhere, then, hey, move on, you know, move on. Rather than stay frustrated and feel like you're beating a dead horse, um, you know, dis dis disconnect and 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 find someone else who will appreciate your conversation and what you have to offer as far as you know emotions, um, affection, love, support. You know, we all need that. You know, we all need that that person who who listens to us, who feels some compassion for us, who wants to see us succeed who's our, our our backbone, you know, our ride or die. You know, we all need that. There's a lot of people who are there just for the quick ride, and you got a lot of, you know, individuals who are very selfish and got their own agenda, you know, and it will stab you in the back in a heartbeat. And when the chips uh, fall south, you know, they head north, so... Like I said, relationships can be just as frustrating, but you got to talk through them and you got to try to figure out the solutions. So frustration, it, it's, it's a part of life. 
it's a part of life, you know. It, the things you can change are the things you want to focus on. You don't want to get frustrated about, you know, some 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 dummy running for office, somebody who claims they're going to help the community and, you know, they're all about their own agenda. Don't get frustrated about those clowns, you know. Don't get frustrated about uh, something you have no control over, something going on, you know, in another country, something going on where it, it, you can't directly change it. First, focus on what's frustrating you. And then you can kind of figure out how you can change those things so that you can live more happily more at peace with yourself and um, that's where that's where you find the answer you know from self it's not outside yourself first and foremost it's, in, it's within yourself so uh, you know don't look towards your mom your dad the church <laughs> don't look towards all these outside things to help you ease that frustration. You know, write write them down. Write the things down that frustrate you, and then write down what would make those frustrations go away. Do that exercise, and as you go through the list and you 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 knock down those solutions, um, just deal with them. And if it's confronting somebody, then hey, that's what you got to do. You know, if you got to go to your refrigerator clean out all the junk food then that's what you got to do um, but you got to make the commitment and you got to sincerely want to be happier in life um, you know sometimes I, I, I also you know go on a drive you know go out to the beach just try to you know clear my mind and um, there's a, you know these things are things that kind of soothe you for the moment but to get to the bottom of the you know of the problems that's causing you the frustration you know go through and write them down and like I say put together your solutions and go through your checklist and it might take you a while to make it all the way through but whatever the problem is you know however small you know, you, you know not doing laundry leaving dirty clothes you know out um, not cleaning up the kitchen um, eating, you know, ice cream late at night, um, you know, the bag of chips that's always on top of the refrigerator, um, um, you know, not selling enough merch this month or, you know, um, not, uh, working enough overtime or working, you know, working late but feeling like you're missing out. Whatever the case may be, there's all type of things that can make you frustrated. You know, your co-workers, you know, your spouse, talk to them, talk to them, work it out, find a solution, move forward. Don't let it, you know, break, cause you to break out or get hives or anything stupid. Um, find a way, man. Hit me up, BigHurk916.com for life coaching, uh, mentoring, you know, let's make it happen. And uh, be positive, man. Love to hear from you. Leave a comment.